Hey everybody, my expect the comics, and I'm back. This time with a cool mail call. Uh, I believe there's an AOK. Got some uh, mail call and some LCS pickups today. If you want to see what I got in these packages, stay tuned for that intro. <laughs> back so if you haven't already please don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content you'll get it in a timely fashion so like I said I ended up getting a few packages in the mail uh, one from my buddy Nick's kicks and comics uh, one of the books I pre-ordered from last week's new comic book day and then a few uh, books from uh, the back issue bin I was um, hoping to pick up some books today from a new comic book day, uh, as this is Wednesday, and um, I went there, I was there for about, I don't know, maybe close to an hour, and I was waiting patiently because they didn't have any new books out yet, so I was hoping maybe that the delivery guy was maybe delayed or whatever the case may be, and they showed up, I was, uh, you know, there for a little bit, you know, browsing, waiting. And they open up their uh, packages from uh, from Marvel and DC, and she was like, "Oh, um, you know, can I can I can I go through the books, see what you got, so I can actually buy something?" And uh, she was um, like, "Well, we gotta fulfill our pull list members, and you know, we gotta sort everything out because you know the packages just came in. Now, this is Wednesday afternoon at one o'clock, and uh, they're just getting their books." So I was like, well, so I guess I'm not getting any, any new books for a new comic book day. And um, so that's the uh, long story short. So I ended up looking to see what they had for last week's new comic book day. And it was really a lot of, you know, fluff books that I wasn't looking for. So I didn't get anything for um, this week or last week. And I'm not going to go out of my way to buying books for new comic book day. I'm starting to get, you know, pretty frustrated with the way that, both Lunar and Diamond are, you know, delaying shipping at books for a new comic book day. And I don't mind going later on in the week, but if I go on Wednesday for new comic book day and you don't have any books, I'm not going to go to another shop. I, I'm just going to go, you know, digging through the back issue bins, seeing what I can find, and at least, you know, I'll spend my time doing that instead. So that's my quick little rant on that. Um... Let me know if that happens to you guys in your area as well. Because this has been like an ongoing thing for about, I don't know, about a month now. So I'll show you what I ended up picking up in the back issue bins. I picked up four books. Uh, this is from the Punisher run, the uh, Matt Rosenberg run later on in the uh, series. So I picked up uh, Punisher, issue number four, uh, 224. And uh, these are going to be all Clayton Crane covers. This is a beautiful cover. And I've uh, been looking for these in a while. These books have recently uh, gone up in price um, because of the, I uh, forget who it is, if it's Iron Wars or whatever the case may be. There's a certain spec character involved, but um, these later issues are also very low print run. And I believe this one has around a 20,000-ish print run. So uh, to pick this up for cover price, you can't go wrong on that. So I picked up issue number 24. There's another uh, Clayton Crane, issue number 225. 226. This is a really cool uh, Zemo cover. Grabbing uh, Punisher's uh, helmet there. Really nice. And uh, I think I saw a 227, but it was pretty beat up. So I ended up picking up uh, 228, and like I said, these are all cover price, four bucks a piece. So I was happy to get that. Um, I believe 224 alone is going for around uh, 40 bucks. So I was like really surprised when I saw that. I know they're low print; they're pretty hard to find. So uh, happy to find those. Um, the package came in. This was on Saturday. I both. I think the Knicks package came in on Saturday as well, Saturday or Monday, I forget. Just haven't had the time to record, unfortunately, so I try to put out content as much as I can, but sometimes with my uh, busy schedule, 
I just uh, I just don't have the time. So uh, had some time today, so I'm happy to do this recording. Um, so this was a book I pre-ordered, and I don't do a lot of pre-ordering myself. Um, in, unless I see something I really like. And uh, I ended up buying this from Third Eye Comics. And this shop, I believe, is in Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, they ended up, uh, so it says, thanks for ordering from uh, Shop Third Eye. Your order packed with a whole lot of TLC by Mike. So thanks, Mike. So uh, I pre-ordered this. Because I wanted to read this book by um, Bad Idea, and there's no shops in Rhode Island that actually order Bad Idea uh, for whatever reason. So uh, I ended up buying this online, and I, I knew this was probably going to be sold out. So I was happy to get this, and it, it wasn't actually one of those when you pre-order it that they canceled the order because like the orders were just like so much that they couldn't handle so they ran out of their copies so they were actually able to fulfill the order so um, I'm going to show you the book and uh, this is by like I said bad idea this is passive aggressive issue number one and uh, if you're not familiar they did a weird distribution where um, the East Coast and the West Coast got two different copies. I guess it's two different stories from what I get. And uh, there's a passive story and an aggressive story. So I believe if you're on the East Coast, you got the passive story, I believe. I could be, I could be mistaken. So I wouldn't know what the, I guess, if you're in the Midwest, I don't know what copy you would have gotten. But uh, So I'm going to open this up. And it should be what I think it is. And it's the aggressive, which is um, what they were, you know, sending out on the East Coast. So I'm really excited to read this. This is actually a pretty cool cover in general. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited to pick that up. This was actually it says buckle up. <laughs> it's gonna be a bad idea. <laughs> uh, stuff like this, I really, I just find interesting. So I'm hoping it's a good read. It's it's um, written by uh, Matt Kent, which I'm a big fan of his. And uh, artwork by uh, David LaFam. So if you guys read that or picked that up, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and when I ended up finding out, it, it ended up on the uh, Hot Book Alert because there was two different you know versions of it distributed when it wasn't previously known that it was going to be like that. So uh, I think one of the copies was going for like 20 bucks, And then I think the passive copy, which is I believe the West Coast copy, was uh, going for around 60, 50, 50, 60 bucks. So that was pretty cool. And uh, they ended up throwing in uh, Spider Man Venom number one free comic book day. So that's pretty cool. So I appreciate that. So uh, thanks, Mike. And then um, and they packaged it really well. So shout out to you guys from Third Eye Comics. Uh, I believe there's some people down in the, in the community. I believe Rob from Cool Stuff Collectibles. Uh, uh, that's near him. So um, so that's that. And then my last package here is from uh, Nick's Picks and Comics. I ended up um, winning on a raffle on a, a live stream last week. He ended up giving away a book. So I ended up winning that. There was a few people that kept on spinning. I said, oh, I'm just going to pass it forward, pass it forward. And then I ended up winning. So that was pretty cool. So I'll show you the book that I ended up getting, and um, I honestly forget which book it was, but uh, I know it wasn't—I know it wasn't a book I had. So always excited for that. Uh, let's see. All right. Opening this up. Here we go. Oh, cool. So it says, all right. So uh, came with a little uh, note there. Said, hey, -oh. congrats on the win. Thanks so much for being one of the best dudes out there. Not only for the comic community, but for the work you do outside of it. Really appreciate you all. Nick's Kicks and Comics. Thanks, Nick. Um, he ended up sending over these really cool stickers. See if I get a nice little zoom in there. 
like that that's really cool so I'm gonna put one of those on my uh, short box and one of those on my uh, store folio so that's really cool all right open up this what do we get oh cool I actually didn't have this issue so this is uh, Immortal Hulk issue number 43 and this is actually one of my favorite runs that's been ongoing for a while so uh, I'm excited to uh, I don't believe I've read that issue so the next book is Infinite Destinies Iron Man Quantum Iron Man versus Quantum issue number one I am not familiar with that by McKay and Ferreira cool part one of eight all right very nice uh, we got an extreme carnage alpha that's a really nice cover with scream on there okay oh this was the book berserker number two nice berserker number two this has been a, a good read and then the other cover very cool I like that black cover that's nice so thanks Nick I appreciate that and then we also got something else in here go oh nice there we go now it's official got a Nick's kicks and comics t-shirt hey -oh. <laughs> that's awesome can't wait to, uh, to wear that as well so uh, thanks Nick I appreciate it that's some really cool swag I'm gonna I'm gonna send some stuff your way as well just got to get around to it but uh, if you guys like that smash that like button if you haven't already Subscribe to the channel, and until next time, Box Spec the Comics, out.